I got this fantastic award, BB Trust Award, Bolette Butoni, and um, which means that you have uh, a certain amount of money that you should use for something that could, yeah, develop your your musicianship. And uh, the first thing that came to my mind actually was was to to commission a piece. Um, that was a quite easy choice. I'm really aware of uh, wanting to play music of exceptional quality um, and as a solo percussionist I think this is what has been really been lacking and this is where I attempt, um, well, through the composers that I work with, I, I, I need them more than anyone, more than anything, to write me great music and then I just try and play their music as well as I can. I mean, I'm definitely at the service of the of the composer. From my perspective as a composer, I feel I I start a composition and I compose because I have a overwhelming need to do so. I have commissioned Caliviajo to, to write a clarinet concerto for me. I, of course, I've been thinking um, uh, who I would like to commission, and there's always some people that you immediately think that would be wonderful. And, and, and uh, Gavin Bryars was, uh, was one of the people that I thought immediately that would be wonderful. I wanted to commission a new flute concerto because I think there's always room for, for more. The, there isn't a massive um, repertoire when it comes to flute concertos. I was also very much interested to have a composition for the Bassett clarinet because there's basically only the Mozart clarinet concerto written for the instrument. Um, I thought it would be interesting to ask a, a modern composer to uh, once more try and see uh, what, what you can do with a, let's say, traditional orchestra, with the traditional instruments. I'd worked with Hugh in the past. He wrote me a, a short piece a couple of years ago, which worked very well, and we've done recitals together. And for me, he was quite an obvious um, choice. And it's such a precious instrument that I thought it was just absolutely the right thing to do to commission a piece. One of the things I would really uh, have liked to do is um, add a new piece to the uh, literature for piano and orchestra. When you approach certain forms history kind of is on your shoulder and one of the challenges i enjoy is actually writing in the light of history i'm acutely aware of music history and i take great sustenance from music of the past yeah i'm thinking a lot about the idea of what is a concert uh, at the moment eh? a classical music concert or whatever you call it eh? to write a piano trio is something very important for a composer of my my profile, you know, it's, it's like uh, it, it has this historical connotation, and I like to play with history somehow. So this was the perfect, the perfect match. Everything was like very stimulating for me. There, there are the same kind of challenges for every instrument. You have to know the instrument very, very well, and then you have to find the soul of the instrument somehow. To have the courage. Uh, to just put your ideas forward, not knowing whether they succeed or fail, whether they last or whether they're just gone in an instant. Um, I think that it's just important. Um, that's the job of an artist is to observe the world around them and, and comment uh, in the way that they know how. I think with every compositional process, there should be this, this excitement and, and uh, uh, 
uh, feeling that you are you are in a you are in a sandbox uh, <laughs> as a child and everything is possible you know you 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 have you have an immense amount of tools and and uh, you 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 are excited and you try things and and, and so on so I, I think this this really applies here A lot of my work has a kind of a kind of uh, an undertone of darkness or kind of eerie, sh shadow-like kind of quality to it. Darkness Moves is uh, the title of an anthology of poetry by Henri Michaud. There was not necessarily one poem that kind of stuck out to me. To, to kind of inspire me for this one particular piece. There's something kind of, you know, very kind of um, not of this world. Um, and that, that's a kind of something that usually inspires me and gets me kind of, uh, gets my kind of creative juices flowing, as it were. We've been doing this choir project with the kids for a while and, and you immediately see like, things that they get bored by or don't get or that are too hard for them. You used to get such immediate feedback on the music. Um, so it's a really kind of challenge. It's like your toughest audience to write for because they're not, if, they, if they don't like it, they'll just say and they'll lose attention and like, they'll be badly behaved as well. You, it's kind of, you've got a lot, you've got to, you've got to do a lot in what you write to really get the project to work. Um, which is, yeah, it's so fun. It's like, they're always the highlight of my year doing it. Dave is just doing some amazing things and using samples and, and he brought with him a CD some material. I needed some new material for my recitals, basically, um, and uh, I just thought I want some of that. There's just such a such a variety of colour in Adam's playing. Um, absolutely beautiful, soft, focused sounds. Incredible virtuosity as well. Um, it really gets the, the juices, the creative juices flowing. Actually, with just thinking of his thinking of his sound. It's a kind of um crystalline sort of presentation of music for percussion that Colin really brilliantly uh, is able to sort of um, give to the audience because his abilities are technically so high and, and also his musicality is very strong. So um, any stuff that you throw at him, he'll deal with very efficiently and very well and very sensitively. Annaline uh, at a certain moment came to me and said, Wim, you have to write a concerto for me. And I was in the middle of an opera composing process and I said, yeah, but you know, but she convinced me to do it. And, and, and uh, she's a wonderful player, a wonderful musician and a wonderful person. And, and I said, yes, and, and now I'm here and, and I'm, I'm, I'm very thrilled that I did it. So it was, it was uh, meant to be that I had to compose this, this concerto for her. And one of the, th the rules of thumb I've always had is to, to be, always be aware that performers know a lot more about music, certainly as far as their own performance is concerned, than the composer ever will. And always be humble. That, for me, ultimately is how you learn about um, your craft as a composer, is to have that humility and accept that the performer knows better than you. The musician, in this case, Bram, in this case, Bram he, brings, he brings such a... He brings in one way, could I say, his own world and his own energy to the process. And, and that, that's, of course, something, something of, of immense importance to me then as, an, as a composer. Mm -hmm. It can also happen, I write some, something and, and solo say that's too difficult, then I change it, of course. You, have, you, ha you must have that co cooperation with the musician and mm -hmm. always. They did a wonderful job. They took it very serious, very professional, and then they are extremely musical and, and, 
I, I really love the version that they are doing. I think it's important when you start this collaboration with Mostar work to have one foot in the in the fiasco almost to, to really have the courage to say this could be ridiculous or this could really not work and then go on and then in the end maybe you have the courage or the, you are brave enough to to do it. <laughs> This modern music at the moment. Eh? We, sometimes I feel that uh, if you want to, to 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 survive also with the idea of of these big masters like Bruckner, Beethoven, and call the other names, I think we have to challenge uh, that type of music with music of today. I'm very fascinated by the idea that how how we as composers and and then together with musicians how how we can bring the instrument the, the development of, of playing the instrument further and and. And this piece and this concerto, I think that we actually, we actually really did something interesting with the bassoon. We should play the the fantastic music that we already have, but we should also have the direction forward. I'd love to write something that that enters the repertoire, something that gives Adam great pleasure to play and and works well as a piece of piece of flute with orchestra. There remains always a risk if you give a commission to a new composition because you don't know what is coming out. But in this case I have the very good feeling that um, we trusted each other in the totally right point. We, we have to be courageous, I, I think, as, as musicians, as composers, but maybe also as programmers and also as an audience, we have to be courageous and, and try to reinvent ourselves and reinvent new things, what we can do, also with this beautiful repertoire of the past. I mean, to work with composers who's alive today, it's, it's, it's special. <laughs>